BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 Biology and this video is about white blood cells. Now why am I doing this video? If you look at the spec uh, specification then it says well you don't need to know a great deal about white blood cells however on a recent paper there was a question which clearly you had to know loads about it so it the specification just says understands cell speciali specialization in terms of structure and function to include blah 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 white blood cells but you actually were supposed to know about different types of white blood cell and what they do and how they differ in function and structure so i've done this video anyway it might be a bit late for you but never mind so here we go white blood cells some basics to start with uh, your body your blood contains red blood cells which carry oxygen and white blood cells uh, and they're called leukocytes leukocytes uh, and they form part of your immune system and their job is to protect your body from foreign invaders uh, pathogens uh, a pathogen is a microbe which can cause disease okay is a pathogen and your white blood cells are like the police swimming around in your blood or in your lymph system uh, and they attack these pathogens white blood cells are produced in bone marrow uh, there are lots of them in your lymphatic system and in your blood plasma white blood cells uh, pathogens for example bacteria how do they make you poorly well they get inside your body they uh, multiply rapidly and they use up lots of valuable resources they use up food they use up oxygen and they produce toxins um, basically they they wee and poo in your blood and that makes you very poorly okay so pathogens can make you very poorly how do white blood cells fight pathogens well there are three main ways one of them is that they produce chemicals called antibodies which are these y-shaped things on this picture and the antibodies will attach to the pathogen uh, and basically stop it from doing its nasty things destroy it that way the antibodies I'll talk more about this later are very specific to particular pathogens so to kill that particular germ you need particular antibodies uh, the second way number two they produce antitoxins which basically neutralize the poison and then the third way is called phagocytosis and that's what this white blood cell is doing in this video it's gobbling up it is ingesting the bacteria and when it's got the bacteria inside it then there's lots of digestive enzymes in lysosomes which it'll squirt on it and it'll basically digest it and those are the three ways that your white blood cells can fight pathogens there are different types of white blood cell do you need to know all of them do you need to know loads and loads about all of them no I would concentrate on neutrophils and lymphocytes neutrophils because they are the most common and lymphocytes because that's to do with antibodies and it's quite interesting so lymphocytes I think about 50 60 percent of your white blood cells are lymphocytes they are the most common type they are quick to respond but they die quickly after they've done their job imagine that they're the bobbies on the beat they're the police on the streets so something happens they're there very very quickly lots of them arrive very very quickly but they die very quickly and when they die they may form pus that yellow stuff the other types I'll mention uh, eosinophils eosinophils they're specialized to deal with parasites uh, and allergies so um, maybe it's like pest control okay so they squirt special chemicals out to deal with parasites and allergies basophils 
um, they cause the area to become inflamed. Uh, one chemical which does that is called histamine. That helps the other white blood cells to, to get in and attack the germs. Okay, If things get out of hand and that area becomes too swollen, then you, maybe you need some antihistamine. But basophils produce special chemicals which help the other white blood cells do their job. Uh, monocytes, now similar to neutrophils, but they're not there as quickly. They're slower to respond, but they last longer. They're the, the SWAT team, special forces, the riot police. Okay, They're not there immediately, but when they do arrive, they, they kick butt. Okay, so they're, they're, they're a bit mean and they last longer. Okay, lymphocytes. Now, um, two types of lymphocyte you could talk about uh, T cells and B cells. T cells will check the identity of your cells, they go around your, your blood and they basically say, Can I see your papers, please? Okay, they, they check the cells to see, should you be here? Are you dangerous? Are you a dodgy looking character? And if there is a problem, then the B cells, the T cells, tell the B cells to produce antibodies to sort it out. So the T cells will check your papers. If everything's okay, fine. If there's a problem, the T cells tell the B cells to squirt loads of antibodies and sort you out. Uh, adaptive immunity and this basically means that these these lymphocytes remember which cells are dangerous uh, if it knows that a cell is dangerous then you'll be immune to that disease because they'll be able to produce lots of antibodies very quickly if it's a, a pathogen which they've never seen before uh, then they won't be able to produce antibodies for a, a while uh, and that's quite dangerous. This is how vaccination works. Okay. As I said before, neutrophils and lymphocytes. Learn those at least. So, if there is a big question, six, seven marks, be able to say what white blood cells do, what is their function, uh, state some things that they all have in common. Uh, and state some differences between different types of white blood cell. For example, um, similarities, they ha all have nuclei, they have mitochondria and ribosomes, etc. Uh, similarities in function, they all attack pathogens. They have the same job, but in different ways. Um, they all travel in the lymphatic system and in blood plasma to get to where they are needed. Differences between them, well, again, I said neutrophils are the most common type. There's more of them than any others. Uh, they contain lysosomes, uh, which are digestive enzymes. Uh, remember uh, phagocytosis. Uh, the lymphocytes uh, have a memory. They remember which cells might be dangerous. Uh, the T cells have receptors to identify antigens. Antigens are the kind of bits on the outside of the virus or whatever, which are characteristic that tell you if it's nasty or not. And then the B cells produce specific antibodies. That should be more than enough to get uh, hopefully all of the marks available.